Right, so I'm going to do a bit of an experiment here. I've seen a lot of videos and things online that say that you can literally just plant a pineapple top and it grows. So I'm going to put that to the test and see if it's actually a thing. So I've literally just finished cutting some pineapple. Just cut that off the top. So it's very fresh. I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm literally going to take it in the garden, put it in some mud, and then we'll do an update in a few weeks time to see what's happened, see if it's died, see if it's rooted, see what's going on with it. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, so this is the spot where it's going to go. Right there. It's going to get plenty of water because it's next to the bird bath, so when they're splashing around in that, it's going to keep it watered. Gets a bit of sun here, not too much sun though, so we'll have to see how it goes. The only problem we've got is it's, it's a quite clayey soil. So I don't know how well it's going to grow, but only one way to find out. Right, so I've tried to break down the soil as much as possible into smaller bits. So I'm literally just going to take the pineapple. I think that would be a bit too deep. Let's put some of them bits back. I'm gonna stick it on top. Push it down in there like that. And I'm going to infill it with some of this smaller stuff. Use my foot now just to bed it in. No, it's been raining today, so I'm not actually going to water it now. I'm just going to leave it like that, and then we'll report back in a week or so time and see what's happened to it. So I'm just going to do a very quick video of how the pineapple plant is coming along. It's been four weeks now to the day that I planted it and this is how it's doing. So it's been very hot the last couple of days. Those of you that live in England know that it's been about 30, 32 degrees the last few days. So it's starting to really dry up now. Um, it's actually growing a pineapple already. It's not very big yet, but it's definitely coming along um, so yeah so it's looks like the plants some of the leaves have died but some of it's still growing but the main thing is we've actually got a pineapple which is I think that's amazing in four weeks one month we've actually got a pineapple um, I've read online that if you cut this off and you soak it in water in the fridge then you can actually get it's a bigger pineapple quicker because it just absorbs the water so we're actually going to try that now so I've got some scissors so I'm going to cut this bit off apparently you've got to do it right to the top there we go you've actually got a pineapple there like I said I know it's very small but all it took was four weeks to grow that like I said, I'm going to put that in the fridge now in some water and then apparently you've only got to leave it two to three days and it grows to the size of a normal pineapple, so I don't know how true that is. So we're going to go in the house now, put it in some water and then we'll come back to it and see how it looks, but I just can't get over it. Four weeks and we've actually got a mini pineapple. It's very, let me try and focus it, it's very small. The actual leaves on top are longer than the bigger than the actual pineapple, but 
Yeah, I think that's amazing. So yeah, we'll go and put it in the fridge and then we'll see, see what happens. Right, okay, so I'm back in the house now. Um, I've got the pineapple here. Like I said, four weeks and it's already grown a pineapple from the cutting that I put in the ground. The trick is to fill up a tub with some water. Like I said, I haven't tried this part yet. This is what I've watched on YouTube videos online. So I don't know how well this is going to work. But he says you fill up a tub of water and then you literally place that in there. Now it says, that's perfect actually, it says not to completely cover in water halfway up. So that is literally halfway up. I'm going to need a little bit more water in there to make sure it's halfway up. There we go, so halfway up, half submerged in water, like that. And now I'm going to put this in the fridge. And it literally says two to three days and this should absorb the water and it should grow the size of a pumpkin so it's more of a size that you can actually eat. So yeah, we'll come back in two to three days and then we'll see how it's getting along. Right, okay, so it's been three days now um, since I put the pineapple in the fridge in water. No way. That is insane. Look at the size of it. I never ever thought it'd work that good. It's actually it's stuck in that container. Look, the water's all gone. You have to get it out. Oh, that's a, it's heavy, yeah? it's got some weight to it. I can't believe it's worked that well. Let me uh, set, try and set this camera up. Yes. Look at the size of that. It's actually wedged. It's in this container. Look at that. It's still a bit wet. If you, I don't know if you can see, I'm, the water's pretty much all gone. Let me get this camera. That is insane. The water's pretty much all gone. It's a little tiny bit of water in there, but the pineapple's absorbed the majority of it, and I've never seen it. I never ever thought it'd work that good. That is incredible. Look at the size of it. That has literally been three days, three days soaking in the fridge in that water and it's just absorbed, it's still a bit damp, I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite damp where it's absorbed the water, but that is incredible, that is, I don't know, let's see what it looks like inside, I'm going to set the camera back up there, it's going to very quickly cut it open, in theory this only took just over a month, so it took four weeks to actually grow the pineapple before and then it's taken three days in the fridge in water to get this big and this is I'll have to watch the video back but near enough the same size as the one we started with originally which is insane so it's just over a month so you could do this every month and you could have a free pineapple you could buy one pineapple and every single month you could grow yourself another pineapple Cut this open. Just have out of interest. Want to see what it looks like inside? See if it looks the same as a pineapple that you would buy. So I'm going to carefully cut the top off. So I've cut the top off, so I can plant that again and continue the cycle. And then another month's time, I'll have another pineapple. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna cut it all right now on camera. But I'm just gonna literally cut it in half just to see. Look at that, it's exactly the same as you'd buy in the shop. Really juicy, if anything it's juicier than normal because it's just finished absorbing all that water. 
but that is in, literally insane. I just can't get my head around that. So a month and three days and you can grow yourself a pineapple. So in theory, you can just buy one pineapple from a supermarket and every month you can have a fresh pineapple. And I can, like I said, I can plant that again and I can just keep the cycle going, but that is insane. Like I said, it's really damp. You can't really appreciate how damp it is. It just, when you squeeze it, you can just, it's almost like a sponge. It really sucks up the water that was on there. So there you go, that is how you can grow a pineapple. Okay, so I've just finished cutting it up. I just wanted to do a quick taste test on camera just to see what it tastes like. But after all, it's all in the taste, and if it doesn't taste like a shop brought one, then it's kind of pointless. camera up there and I'm just going to literally try a piece literally tastes just the same as the shop brought one really nice really fresh it tastes as well really lots of moisture locked into it I still can't get over how quick how long how quick it took one month 